Well, good morning. It's Monday, August 29th, about 10 minutes after 6. And I'm making this video this morning for my friend Larry Keast because he's been bugging me to make one about our property here. He wants to see it since he hasn't been here. This is what he gets to see. Anyway, this is uh, Harry and Mary Lou's place in Yarrington, Nevada. We're on a little more than 10 acres here, and I'm just kind of giving you a panoramic view of what it looks like around here. Uh, we've got the mine that you're looking at right now, the copper mine that's closed. It's been closed since 1978, I think. But anyway, this is our property. You're looking at a fly trap there, which works pretty good. And uh, back is our corner over there. If you see those railroad ties sticking up, <clears throat> excuse me, that's the back corner, and you got the sun coming up. And then you see the other railroad ties, that's the other back corner. We look around this way. Well, I'm going to start walking and give you a little bit of a tour of all the other property here, the rest of it. So this is our road. This is where we put our horse poop from our beast. But uh, anyway, these are the mountains behind us. And they uh, have copper in them as well. Behind it are a couple of copper mines that are closed. And uh, this was once a lake bed. There's a lake that's about 50 miles from here. It's called Lake Lahontan. But I guess billions of years ago, it covered all this area as well. But now it's just uh, sand and clay, uh, the ground here. And uh, when it gets wet in the winter time, it turns into mud. And you could barely walk in it, and you certainly don't want to drive on it. So, anyway, we're coming up to the hay shed. This is what the we feed the beast, and he's his corral is just right next to it, as you can see. And uh, we're going to go see him right now. There he is. He's having his first course of grain, which he has to have. Uh, he's 25 years old, and we've had him since he was two. And he's a beautiful thoroughbred, uh, 17 hands. Hi, Colin. Say hi. Say hi to Larry. He says, to hell with you, Larry. I want to eat. There's this shed, and there's this hay we spread out for him this morning. So that's kind of it. And then there's the garage, a uh, metal one. It's about a thousand square feet. And there's the house, the back side of it. And you can see we've got a 500 gallon propane tank, which keeps us and uh, keeping our food cooking our food and keeping our water warm, which I guess is important. Here's the greenhouse, Larry. You've been kind of curious about this. I'll open it up for you this morning. Just see what it's all about. And uh, there we are. Got some tomatoes and some squash and some cucumbers and some bell peppers and got some jalapenos and some melons and all that good stuff. Haven't been able to eat any of it yet, but I think soon we're going to be able to get some. You see, we got a little tomato there and all that. So there's the greenhouse. And now I'm going to walk up and open the gate. See what that's all about. So Larry, we put uh, gravel down because if you don't, your car sinks into the mud in the winter and you can never get out. So there we are on that and again with the house uh, that's concrete siding uh, James Hardy Hardy plank and then this is the front porch it's kind of fun there to sit out there in the evening when the Sun goes behind the mountain and enjoy a little peaceful time I guess one thing you notice besides my voice is nothing else it's so quiet out here you don't hear anything, which is pretty cool. Once in a while you hear the coyotes. But other than that, you don't hear much of anything. So we're gonna go 
open the gate and I'm gonna terminate this. Here's the front end of the garage. All my rock piles, which come in handy. And then uh, this is kind of it. We have these plants you call the greasewoods. And they're a stickery plant. That's the only thing that grows out here naturally. And as you can see, all these old rusty cans. Uh, that's why we call this place the Rusty Can Ranch. Because they're all over. Everywhere you turn, that's all you see is these rusty cans. And it's kind of neat. I guess the pioneers or whoever settled out here were pretty messy. Uh, they didn't take care of business and police their trash or anything. So anyway, these are the mountains behind us. Again, get a little closer to it. And uh, almost to the gate. And as you see, there's some people over there that are squatting. They're supposed to be building houses, but they haven't gotten around to it yet. Uh, and then everybody else has a house. The lady over there has got one. And then there's a big place over here. And that's kind of it, man. There's not much else to say other than for people who like to shoot birds. There's a wild bird that lives up in those mountains. It's called a chucker. And you can eat them. They're a little bit bigger than a quail and smaller than a pheasant. But the season starts in October, so I'm going to take my luck, chances with luck, and go up there and see if I can bag a few. So here's our road. This is how you get here. Uh, obviously, it's dirt. And uh, that's kind of it, man. That's the road that way. And there's the road going there. That goes back to the mines, so. All right, Larry, I hope this uh, gives you a little idea what the hell we're doing out here. And I uh, hope you have a great one. And uh, after you see this, when you get a moment, give me a call. Okay, buddy? Take care.